I'd never actually seen anything like that before, but when, when Active Entertainment started doing it, you know, I thought that it was something I definitely want to see some more of. It's a four to six hour extravaganza. Who here has seen a person hung by books? Who here has seen a trapeze artist in a room this size? People doing rope work, people doing normal runways like you see here. Uh, no loss of DNA fashion. And those hands came first and then and up, and it happened on accident. I knew Ryan Muller, loose tooth throws some other people, and I kept seeing him all the time and he's like, you know, where do you get these fucking clothes that I see at all the time? I'm like, why well, make them? He's like, do you think you could put a couple six day piece together to show them? I'm like, ah, fuck all this. You know, sure, why not? Andrea? <laughs> Flower child. Flower child. It just kind of, um, got involved with it, just kind of fell into place. No one was involved with it. We were seeing each other. So we seeing each other. And so... <laughs> So he started showing stuff and they were kind of short of models, so I started modeling and well, who doesn't want to have pictures of their girlfriend and it just kind of went from there and now I help him make the clothes. It looks like we're going to do a mixed media thing with uh, the Sam and her girls, man. I'm not quite sure, we're still trying to kind of fill in the gaps. But, uh, they're going to come on, maybe do a couple couple tunes with us, maybe one in the beginning, one towards the end and we're just going to vamp out, man. Nice. You guys got some uh, tracks in mind for... Stuff yeah, that would be fetish oriented. He's gonna come on. Hell don't pay the taxes. Hell don't pay taxes. On our yeah. new release. And we, we've got some up, up, up tempo stuff too, like Call of Love and Another Man's Son. I mean, any of those songs actually would probably wind up going over pretty well because, uh, like I said, it's, it's a really raw, uh, aggressively gritty blues sound. Um, and I know uh, uh, Sam came out the other night and checked out what she did. She saw yeah. some anger in it. She did. She saw some anger. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's good for fetish. Yeah, man. <laughs> Have you done AMDF before? And what did you um, do there? Amdef was the second show I ever did after doing One Chance, and I actually walked for Null, and I was scared out of my mind, but it was really, really fun, and I'm really glad I did it. So this year we're at Numo's, different venue, bigger venue, it's gonna be even more fun. Can't wait. It's a lot that's going on. You know, you're getting ready in the back, you're being transported, there's the preparations before, and you know, hanging out after, like, it really is, you know, you have to be passionate about what you do, and AMDEF definitely shows out the people who are passionate about modeling, and the photographers, and the artists, and that's what makes it so good. It's not just a fashion show where people get to see, you know, clothes, or couture, or crazy things like that, but it's just a passionate show. I, I do chance fashion at AMDEF just for Ryan Moore's dog, Hustle. What was it like when you went to the casting call? What did you have to do? Um, we just walked. And then that was it. We filled out the paperwork, and that was it. It was super easy. I was a little intimidated because I'd never done anything like that, but it was cool. Do you still feel intimidated now that you've hung out with the guys a little bit? No, no. Everybody's really chill. There's all these great designers, and I'm really stoked to be a part of it. AMDEF was an idea me and Ryan were throwing back and forth probably like six, seven years ago, and it kind of came out of fruition, like just out all the talking and planning and. We ended up doing the first AMDEF together and, and kind of Ryan just kind of ran with it from there on out.